Satan has been reigning for about 3,000 years, and Google and NSA and the American government and the local police departments are part of his minions. There's no question about that. God has shown me many things. Some of the things he simply showed me, he simply showed to me while I was studying. And as I was looking through all the things that God has shown me, I realized that there is only one way to God, and that's Jesus. And there is only one person on this entire planet sent on his behalf, and that is me. Several different things happen in my life, and something tells me that I have to keep the incidents a secret. Even though God did not say to me that I should keep it secret. I can tell you this, God has spoken to me before. But not a whole lot, didn't say a whole lot, much, didn't say a lot. And most of the speaking he does now is in my mind. And it's not like what a schizophrenic or somebody who they claim has a disorder would describe is actually a voice that I know is not coming from outside it's coming from inside and there's no clarity to it it's like your conscience almost that feeling you get when you say don't do this so for that feeling I get my conscience is directly connected to God and tells me what I should do on behalf of God not just some kind of principle of right or wrong maybe all our consciences are connected to God but mine strong connection maybe strengthened through Kung Fu but what I know is that everything I've done to come closer to God has been written already. I am part of the Word of God. I am a messenger from God. The light beam sent by God includes me. I saw Ra in a light beam. I saw Heru in a beam of light that reflected off a window. I saw many symbols and signs and I know that I am chosen by God and that there was nothing wrong with my brain. So now comes the time when we divide. Many of my family have already divided against me, as it was written, and no prophet shall be recognized in his own hometown. Many of my neighbors who are white trash, who didn't make it past high school, have already denied the Egyptians were black, have already denied that I'm the prophet of God, and do not want to admit that Moses took a Cushite wife, much less do they want to admit that Abraham took Hagar. They do not want to admit that the Ishmaelites exist. They do not want to admit that the tribe of Judah became blacker than it originally was. The tribe of Judah started off as people who looked very much like me, but slightly lighter. And as they mixed in with the Ebos, they became extremely dark. And as my dad came to America and married the Germanic bloodline, I got both sides, the good and evil. I became a sort of gray warden, so to speak. I was injected with both sides the white devil, um, Germanic cults on the right, in my, on the left, the left foot forward, the Nubians, the Jewish, the Naphtali, and Gad. It's important to notice that when Naphtali was angry at Reuben and didn't want to take his sides because he was fucking, he was attempting to fuck his mother, Bilah. So, my ancestors are one, a guy who was angry at Reuben for a good reason. Two, the guy who saved the life of Joseph. Benjamin, a baby born out of happiness with Joseph's little brother. Now, before I even read the Bible, I knew God. Before I knew Jesus, I knew God. Before I understood the deeper implications of Jesus, I knew God. And it could have something to do with my baptism in a Catholic church. And it would be a couple years after my baptism, three or four years after my baptism, that I would start seeing evidence that God is there and I would hear his voice. So it could have something to do with baptism. It could. Maybe that's why Jesus himself insisted on being baptized. I, I don't know. But what I do know is God has chosen me, and now is the time when I bring the sword. God has told me that I have divine rights over everyone on this planet, that I am closer to him than anyone on this planet, and that he loves everybody equally, and that if it is up to my discretion, whether or not things blow up, people get assassinated, heads get chopped off, that is all up to my discretion. God has shown me that I am the one, that he has given me divine insight.
That's why I outsmarted all the shrinks. That's why before it came out that one in ten doctors lying, I spent hundreds of videos telling you that they're lying. That's why before it came out that there were steroids in the recalls on the FDA site, I brought it to your attention that doctors and pharmaceutical companies are colluding to bring in mind control and make profit. It's war profiteering. War profiteering on the battlefront and our perform broad and our military bases abroad. War profiteering on the biological front, the biological warfare brought in by Hitler and Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood, etc. And it came out how Planned Parenthood is trying to usurp the other companies and trying to get their agenda across by pushing out the other CEOs and absorbing the other country companies into their Planned Parenthood umbrella, which used to be the American Eugenic Society. We're talking about scum here. Class Cass Canfield, you know, Eugene Fisher, Francis Galton. Constantly his name is misspelled, but it's actually Francis Galton. Now, you need to understand that it, it is not my ability to repeat history that is what God chose. It is my ability to discern to the bullshit. I've met many people who had degrees. One lady who everyone said that she's a genius and that she, she was one of those child prodigies and she went to Ivy League school at a young age and she failed to see that the reason the, Amer the, reason the whites came to America was to target the black man and to eliminate any sign that the black man had built the foundation to white history. Because every white man knew, because of their location in Russia, not China, Russia, they knew damn well that the knowledge from the African Egyptians didn't just stay in Egypt. It migrated to Asia and India and all the way to Americas with the Olmec. Okay, during the 25th dynasty, the Olmecs arrived in America. Why? Because they were part of the Egyptian Nubian Empire. That's why they have Negroid features. That's why their statues resemble the Nubian statues. Because the first tribes to America were black-skinned, dark-skinned people who descend from the ancient Egyptians. And then after that, you had the waves of the Mongoloids. Let me explain this to you. The first people to leave Europe to leave Africa on an expedition around the world were Africans. The first people to leave from Europe and become the modern-day Native American tribes who survived to this day, like the Simile, Sim, Seminole and the Cherokee, okay, some of the Apache, some, a lot of the Cree, a lot of the Cree survived. These were the European, you know, the Asiatic European tribes who migrated from Mongolia, Russia, and China, okay? So, the first Native Americans were black, the ones after that were obviously, without any doubt, Asian, and you can see that in the features today. They're very Asiatic. They look like they belong in fucking Beijing. They look like they belong in Tokyo or something, okay? Look like they belong in fucking Laos, Cambodia. Look like they belong in fucking Vietnam doing the fucking Tet Offensive, you know what I'm saying, during the 10,000 Day War. Now, but also, there's the dark-skinned Indians. Where do they come from? The earlier migrations of the black man, not the later migrations of the Asian. So the black man is responsible for all the histories of the world. I've had people who, every, who have many degrees. My aunt has three degrees, and she's not even a fraction of my intelligence. She's the stupidest adult in my family, and she probably has the most degrees. I'm not sure. So that doesn't mean anything. Bill Gates dropped out of college. That doesn't mean anything. Okay? Jesus of Nazareth didn't attend no rabbinical university. He attended the University of Spiritualism in Egypt, just like Abraham Jacob, Joseph, Isaac, and all of the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes were brought into Egypt to learn a lesson. What is the symbolism of that? Thank you.